A month ago we reported that Chinese doctor Shi Zhengli was part of a team working on a Rona project jointly with US doctors in 2014 before it was shut down by the DHS for being too risky. After the US research project was shut down, Dr. Shi continued her Rona research in Wuhan, China. Dr. Shi Zhengli from China was part of a team, including Dr. Ralph S. Barrick from North Carolina, that published an article in a 2015 edition of Nature Medicine. In the article, they discussed bat rona that showed potential for human emergence. The article was published in 2015. This report was published shortly after their project was defunded by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. The HHS in 2014 sent a letter to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill where they announced they were going to defund the program. Dr. Ralph Barrick was identified in the letter. After the work stopped in the U.S., the Chinese moved forward with the project and ran research and development in Wuhan at the Wuhan Virology Center. From Shi Zhengli's papers, it is clear that they successfully isolated the Rona in the lab and were actively experimenting with species-to-species -species transmission. This information provides a basis that contradicts the theory that Rona is a variant that just magically mutated in a bat in the wild and then jumped to a human when they ate a delicious bowl of bat soup. We then reported that the Wuhan Institute of Virology in Wuhan, Hebei province in China was hiring individuals for an ecological study of bat migration and, and virus transmission in November of 2019. We now know from Dr. Xi's papers that she was still working on the Rona at that time. Now we can report that the leader of the U.S. task force overseeing the country's response to the China Rona, Dr. Tony Fauci was the one who funded the Wuhan project work and kept it going. If these research projects were banned in the U.S., was it legal and appropriate for Dr. Fauci and NIAID to use taxpayer dollars to continue to fund the research in Wuhan, China? Was Dr. Fauci ever going to explain his conflict of interest? Did Dr. Fauci skirt U.S. law to fund these dangerous projects in China? Should the man in charge of the flawed U.S. policy to treat and contain the Rona be trusted when he has not been upfront with his connections to the Wuhan research projects? What more does Dr. Fauci have in his past that he has not revealed to the American public?